Alright guys, how's it going? So I was actually tagged in a Facebook post today uh, by a nice lady called Stephanie and she basically asks, how do you replicate something like this in Blender? And it's fairly simple to be honest. Now my method might not be the best, but it's probably one of the quickest. So we'll quickly jump into Blender and in traditional fashion, we'll delete the default cube. Now what I'm going to do here is, I need to create the cloth, so I'll add in a plane. I'll quickly rotate it 90 degrees just so it's facing us and I'll tab into edit mode I'll press 2 to select the edges I'll select the left hand edge and I'll just drag this out I'll press A to select all the mesh and I'll just centre it the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to edge I'll come to subdivide and I'm going to subdivide it 10 times I'm also going to add a fractal so you can see down the bottom here on the left hand side and I'll just add a slight fractal and I can put it along the normals ever so slightly I'll quickly jump back into object mode, I'll select the object, I'll right click and I'll shade smooth it. The next thing I'm going to do is quickly add in a modifier and do a quick subdivision modifier. And now we have something, it looks a little bit more like cloth. So I'll apply the modifier, so what I can see from the animation, it looks like it's following a curve or a path. So I'll come up to add, I'll select curve and I'll add in a bezier curve. Now it's hiding under the cloth so I'll move this to the left. It's pretty small so I'll scale it up by pressing S. And I'll tab into edit mode. Now I can actually select a point here and I can hit E to extrude. And we get something like this. Now I'm not going to be too perfect with this, I just want to show you the basic concept. So I'll quickly jump back into object mode. I'll select the cloth object and I'll add in the modifier curve. And I'll select the bezier curve. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keyframe this on frame 0. So I'll put auto keyframe on and I'll just nudge it a little bit. So then I'll move to frame 120, and when I move the cloth to the left, it follows the curve. Pretty cool. And that looks like the basic effect, but it also looks like they have some sort of kind of cloth dynamics on it. It might just be cheating and adding a modifier, but we will add cloth. So one of the things we need to do is we need to select the object and jump back into edit mode. I need to create a vertex group so I can pin the cloth. So I'll come to the front view, and I'm just going to select these top vertices. So I'll come down to the vertex, I'll add in a new group, I'll select these points here, and I'll assign a weight. Now if you jump into the weight paint, you can actually see what it's done. It's basically assigned a quick weight. I'll then quickly jump back into object mode, make sure I've got the cloth selected, and I'll come to the physics, and I'll enable cloth. Now you'll immediately see it drop down, and the reason for this is it's not pinned. So if we come to shape, you'll see that we have a pin group, and we now have the vertex pin group. So I'll assign that, and when I hit play, that's pretty much the effect you're looking for, Stephanie. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, it costs you absolutely nothing. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Peace.